St. Mary overcomes slow start to run away from Dayton. St. Mary's forward Calvin Hermanson, right, shoots over Sacramento State guard Kevin Hicks, 11, during the second half of an NCAA college basketball game on Monday, December 4, 2017, in Moraga, California. App photo, Marshall Jose Sanchez. Emmett Nahr had nine assists Tuesday, but his biggest helper of the night didn't appear on the stat sheet. After Calvin Hermanson opened the game by missing his first four three-point attempts, the St. Mary's point guard commanded the usual dead-eye shooter to keep hoisting open looks. Hermanson responded with 17 second-half points as St. Mary's pulled away from Dayton for a 69-54 victory in a game between perennial mid-major powers at McKeown Pavilion. It was a tough little start, but Hemet was in my ear all game long to keep shooting it. He even got mad at me for not shooting one in the first half, Hermanson said. That's just how we are, guys have a lot of confidence in each other. Marys, 10-2, overcame Hermanson's slow start and a 7-point. First half deficit for its fifth straight win. The Gales have won by an average of 14.6 points during the stretch, and none of the victories has been bigger in the overall landscape than the one against Dayton, 5-6. That was a great program win. I think that was the best non-conference team we've played this year, head coach Randy Bennett said. People out here don't know about Dayton, but Dayton draws 12,000 fans every game, and they have for decades. They're a high-level program that has a lot of resources, gets a lot of good players and is well coached. We have a ton of respect for them, so this is probably as good as we've felt after a win this year. We know we beat someone good. Hermanson connected on four second-half three-pointers, including one in the opening two minutes to spark a 12-2 run in Put Street. He also was the primary defender on Daryl Davis who came into the game averaging 18.1 points per game and left after a 1-for-12 outing. The Gales, who limited the Flyers to 35% shooting, also got 16 points from Jordan Fort, Nars' 10th straight game with at least 7 assists and a fourth consecutive double-double from Jock Lawndale. Dayton did a good job of fronting the center in the first half, but St. Mary's pulled away the weak side help in the second half, and the big man scored 12 of his 14 points and had 10 of his 11 rebounds. I think that kind of changed the game when he started getting some easy buckets, Bennett said. In the second half, we were the normal gales, getting the ball inside to him. With Dayton's attention drawn to Londale on the block, Hermanson got more open looks on the perimeter, and he made the most of them. The senior, who is one of three players in street. Mary's history to make at least 200 three-pointers, went four for five from three-point range in the second half to help the Gales pull away from a first-half slugfest. Neither team led by more than seven points in a high-intensity first half that turned Dayton's way near the midway point. The Flyers had five different scorers during a 12-0 run, which was capped by Azreus Williams, 16 points, putback that put St. Mary's in a 2013 hole. The Gales finally started getting Lawndale involved in the second half with the center scoring six points during the 12-2 spurt. He had four more during a 14-0 stretch that extended St. Mary's lead to 63-46. We're trying to notch as many big wins as we can before conference play starts, 
And this was definitely one we had circled on the schedule, Hermanson said. We knew this was a big one for us, and I think we did a really good job of showing up for the fight. Rusty Simmons is a San Francisco Chronicle staff writer. Email, rsimmonsfchronicle.com Twitter, at Rusty underscore sfchronicle.